guys, it's Anarchy. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Rico Nasty X Il Maquillage Collection. It just launched like last week. I ordered it as soon as it dropped and I sat down to film the moment I got it in the mail because I wanted to get this out for you guys as soon as possible. Like I said, I'm trying to get videos out for you guys on Wednesdays. So I'm not actually that familiar with Rico Nasty or Il Maquillage. So this is a first impressions and first time trying Il Maquillage as well as like first time trying her palette. So I'm really excited for this. I love the aesthetic of it so much. Anyways, if you guys wanna see how I created this cute look with the Rico Nasty collection, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I've got the new collection right here. It comes in this cute little bag. I just ordered, like there was a button for the whole collection and I clicked that. So it has like the Il Maquillage logo with featuring Rico Nasty on the front, which I think is cool that it says featuring instead of like, X or something. I think that's a cool little touch. And also this cool flowery skull on the back, which is cute. But let's get it, go into the makeup because I know that's what y'all care about. So the collection consists of two eye pencils, a black and a white, it seems like, an eyeshadow brush, and two palettes, which is honestly a really interesting mix for a collection. Like there's no face products. The, Eye pencils, unless there's something unique about them, I think are just normal eye pencils, but I'm gonna open up these palettes. The first one is the Lo-Fi palette, which is oh, a lot of really pretty neutrals. We have the Neon Rage palette. Oh, which is, I love this. Mmm, I like this. I already know what I'm gonna do. So just looking at the palette and having immediate inspiration, I'm going to use this palette and kind of do a neutral smoky eye with these neutral shades at the bottom, which are, because they're labeled, Vacation, Jet Lag, Clone, and M&M. And then I'm going to use Revenge in the inner corner and Nightmare at the bottom. That was easy. That was the fastest I've ever come up with an eye look <laughs> from looking at some palettes. That might be too much, honestly. It might look crazy, but I don't really care. I'm also going to play around and put a lot of stars on my face, or just other things. These are... That was the smoothest application of an eyeliner pencil I have ever felt in my entire life. It's like so pigmented and light, and light to the touch. Like I'm barely even touching it. And look. Like that was the lightest touch. I love that. And they actually, interestingly enough, they sent me an email saying that my delivery was going to be late, even though it was scheduled to arrive next week. And it arrived today, but with that, they gave me a coupon for like $25 off. I'm going to use that $25 to order another one of those. And I think this is the same thing in white. I don't know. Yeah, it's a matte white. And it's a little less, it's a little more waxy than the other one, but still very like pigmented. I might do something with this too. I saw something on one of the promo images or someone somewhere used the white to outline their brow. I might do that or maybe not if it looks too crazy, but I, I like that idea. I wanna do as much stuff as possible. The eyeshadow brush, it looks kind of like a better version of those Anastasia brushes that come in the palette that feels really soft. And I'm just gonna, get to work on applying. So first I'm going to go in with this darker shade and I'm just going to, hmm. Oh, wow. So it's really blendable, but like it doesn't, I know this is like a stiff fluffy brush and probably isn't the best tool to be using for this, but usually I don't have a problem with like getting eyeshadow on a brush, even if it's the wrong kind. But this one was being a little bit difficult, but then the color brushes on very, in a very sheer way. Like I'm trying to be heavy handed right now, actually, because of what, like the look I'm trying to achieve, but it's not really letting me be heavy handed. I can't tell if it's, let me try just swatching it. It is pigmented. So it's either the brush because it's so dense and fluffy or it's just, no, I think it's the brush. I like how it's like controlling, it's diffusing everything very easily. Like if you were a beginner and you didn't know how to make eyeshadow look blended, this would be a really good tool for you. I don't wanna use my own brushes, honestly. I just wanna use this one. So like I was saying on the opening of this video, I'm like only slightly aware of Rico Nasty. My biggest exposure to her, and by the way, I'm going in with that lighter shade now with the bigger side of the fluffy brush, the blended out. My biggest exposure to her is people in the comments telling me that I remind them of her, or like we have a similar aesthetic. I have never looked into her beyond that, honestly. I've just kind of been like, and I've heard a few of her songs 
mostly because I'm on TikTok a lot. But like I've only had like a slight awareness of her. And then I heard about this makeup collection and I was like, oh, it's a person that people say her aesthetic matches mine a lot. And she has a makeup coll collab coming out. And also I'm trying to be better about making YouTube videos. So that seems like a good thing to review. So I went ahead and copped it immediately. And I'm actually pretty into this so far. I've also never tried Il Maquillage before. Okay, that looks really cute. I'm actually very happy I went ahead and bit, bit the bullet on this because so far I'm really liking these neutral colors. And I think I'm gonna use them a lot more in the future. Cause like I already have an idea for another look, but I don't want to do it because like, I love the way this looks right now. And I don't want to mess it up. In order to do the other look I have in mind, I would have to mess it up. I'm gonna go into this darker shade, which I think is m and And it's very, it's like a bit purpley, but I want to try and use it to darken up a bit. Yeah, okay, that helped. All right, I'm gonna use some concealer and cut the crease. I am really liking this so far. I've basically blended out that cr cut crease and this looks so good. I'm gonna take Vacation, which is this shade right here, and set where I cut the crease. This is not a revolutionary look. It's just the first one I thought of when I opened up the palette. I was just like, oh, neon. <laughs> I need neon. But honestly, I really like the idea of these two palettes. Even if you were to just get one or the other, I love all of the bright colors in this one. And I love that this one's neutrals with like pops of other colors. Like this is definitely a palette I would consider taking with me traveling. Not that I can travel anymore because of COVID, but if I was, I would consider it. Okay. I'm gonna take a little more of Vacation and really apply it in the inner corner because that's where I'm gonna pop that neon. And I wanna make sure it really looks nice. I'm also gonna clean off this brush and I'm actually just gonna use it to do those parts too because I think it'll look really nice. So I'm gonna take Revenge, which is that neon from the Neon Rage palette. It's the neon green. And ooh, okay, the brush is having some trouble picking this one up. That isn't looking quite the way I was expecting it to. Ooh, I didn't touch this. This is like a duochrome. Like it looks white in the pan, but it's pink. When I swatch it, I might use that somewhere. But anyway, yeah, this is a, I thought this would be a bit more pigmented. It's very metallic. It's definitely just supposed to be a metallic, but like, at least with the brush, it is not applying as pigmented as I want it to. Let me try it with my It's like creamy. I was not expecting that. Maybe I should have just applied it with my finger. Oh yeah, this was a finger apply. This should have been done with the finger. Oh yeah, wow. If anything, it should have been applied with the finger and then blended out with the brush. Good God. Good God. Okay, that was almost disappointing. Now it's cool. I look like an alien. So I'm loving that. It's very intense. <laughs> I don't know if I was expecting it to be that intense, but I kind of love it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my brush again. Then I'm going to take Let's swatch it real fast to make sure I'm right. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take Nightmare and I'm gonna apply it under my eye, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's such a weird texture. It's like clay. It's not like normal eyeshadow texture. I'm realizing now I probably should have used primer. I think primer definitely would have helped. I usually don't use primer though, so. I feel like I need everything else to be on before I decide how I feel about this, especially my eyeliner. So I'm actually gonna take these two eyeliner pins I got off Amazon recently. They have like those little cat eye tips, which I don't use to draw on my real cat eye, but I do use them to draw on these little points at the corners of my eyes sometimes. I feel like they'd be especially good for this look. Now for my actual eyeliner, I'm gonna use this brand that recently reached out to me and sent me some stuff. They're called Brian Beauty. This is their eyeliner pin. I haven't actually tried it yet. Ooh, it's very nice, very painty. Very painty. Oh my gosh, it's like this weird combination between ink and paint that I really like. I need to see the final product, but I think I just, I. I'm amazed that was so easy. <laughs> Gonna take my Milk Makeup Stamp and I wanna put these stars somewhere. I'm not sure, I think here. I 
I think here and here. I want more. I want more stars. You know what? No, I am gonna do more stars, but I'm gonna use a different thing that I got today specifically for this review. I will be right back. 12 seconds later. So I picked up this by the creme shop in CVS today. So I picked this up from the creme shop in CVS today. It's like the milk tattoo pen, but it's a freckle pen. So it has stars in brown, so they look like freckles and also star pins so you can add normal freckles. Which I'm very intrigued by this concept. I think this is a good look for like a bunch of little star freckles. Ooh, I gotta be very proud and pressed with this. But not too hard or else this circle presses into it. So I've got all those little stars on there and now I'm gonna fill them in. So I straight up look like an alien and I kind of love it. Okay, I know the review is supposed to be for the actual collection, but really quick review for this pin because I am a huge fan of fake freckles. I got the ColourPop fake freckle pin because I thought it would be really good and I've hated it every time I've used it and I couldn't figure out why until I tried this one. This one has like more of an inky consistency whereas this one's more like an actual marker. And the tip of this one, it's easier to make freckles of different sizes. This one, they're all the same size, Every, no matter how much pressure you apply, no matter what, these all end up the same size. This is way better. That's just a random review thrown into this. So now I'm gonna take this blush from Laura Mercier and kind of go over my cheeks and where I applied the freckles. So now I have a bunch of, like I have a little constellation on my face which I'm kind of in love with. Now that all that's done, I never used the eyeliner pencils. So I'm thinking of using the white and making my eyes appear bigger. Yeah. So it kind of mixed with the pink a lot and kind of made it into a light pink. It looks really cute. I love everything I just tried, but I hate that I have nothing to say about it. Like it's all so good. I like the color selection. I like the application. That brush is, is so interesting to me because it's very much like a brush that controls you. Like they are very pigmented shadows. They're not the most pigmented shadows I've ever tried, but like they're definitely pigmented, but I couldn't get any real strong pigment in the way I usually do when applying makeup, which I'm self-taught. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but like usually when I apply makeup, I don't have to try as hard as I did with that brush, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that one just provides such an airbrush effect, which is good, but I'm just not used to it. Like I'm definitely gonna be using that brush a lot more for blending out looks and stuff and making them look really blended because this looks so blended when I did not try at all. That was not, like it's not the most blended look in the world, but the blend that was achieved is far better than what I was trying to achieve. I'm so tempted to outline my eyebrows with this, but I feel like that's too much. Oh, no, it would look cool. Wait, would it look cool? Mm. No, no, another time, another time. I'm so tempted. This is just a very weird experience to me where like I straight up just don't know what to say about this collection. I think I just like it. And like that's happened before where I've just liked what I've tried, but like, I don't know. It's kind of leaving me speechless. Like I really like it. For lips, I'm applying Cola by NYX, which I highly recommend, but I feel like is discontinued. And it's one of my favorite dark brown lip glosses. I mean, lip, lip glosses, lip liners. And then I'm applying Melodrama from Trixie Cosmetics, which is definitely like not my color, but when I use a liner and blend it out, I really like it. I just like this. I just straight up like this. I like how I look. Like, I like how I look in the viewfinder right now. Like, that looks, this looks so good. I, I'm gonna put on lashes and I'll get back to you with my final thoughts. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, I'm back with my final thoughts. Um, I love everything about this. Okay, so I went on the website to check the prices so that I could tell you guys, like, based on the price, how I feel about everything. And I'm realizing it says, like, eye collection somewhere. So I guess, this is her eye collection. Whether or not she comes out with like other stuff is yet to be determined, but this was meant to be just an eye thing. So that, that makes sense. Cause I was confused a little bit. Okay, so I'm looking at the prices so that I can tell you guys like based on the price, what I what my final thoughts are. If you just want this palette, it's $51. If you just want this palette, it's $38. 
The brush is $22 and the pencils are $18 each. Based on that, because personally I'm really cheap, so I'm gonna keep that in mind when I'm telling you this, you can get the whole thing, like everything I just showed you and everything I used for $100, which is what I did. I saw the $100 thing and I just bought it. And that's honestly a good deal if you bundle everything together. I feel like that makes it a little bit more worth it, but that's still a lot of money <laughs> for a palette. And I know Il Maquillage is priced a little bit higher. Like it's definitely a premium brand, but um, ignoring all that and just thinking about just the makeup and everything. These are definitely worth it. I love these. I'm always looking for a good black pencil and a good white pencil too. And these definitely pass the mark. They're very, very creamy and blendable, easy to apply, glide on, very pigmented. Love the eye, eye pencils so much. The brush was also really cool and interesting for $22. Um, I don't know if I would just pay $22 for it. If you were considering getting something else in the collection, I'd definitely throw it in as an add-on because they have it as like a bonus to like the palettes if you want either of the palettes. So in that case, I would definitely get it. I don't know if I'd just pay $22 for it. That's kind of a lot. This palette, I definitely recommend for somebody who wants like a nice basic travel palette with a lot of like really nice shadow shades. Oh, they're all like really creamy. What the heck? Oh, wow, yeah, no, the shimmers are great too. Yeah, definitely gonna be using this more. Like, I'm definitely gonna keep this in my makeup drawer. Like, I have this main makeup drawer, which is where I keep everything I use on a day-to-day -day basis, and then I have, like, these cabinets that I put all my makeup I don't use daily, but, like, I still like in the back. This is definitely going in the real makeup drawer. Like, I really like this. Same with this, I think it pairs nicely together. I like that it's split up so that you are, if you are a person who likes more nudes or more neutrals or more like safe makeup with a bit of a pop of color, you can do this. And if you're a crazy makeup guru who loves her neons or if you're even like the kind of person who just kind of smears a color across their eye and it looks great, I know those girls, they always look amazing. Um, if you're one of those girls, then this would be a great choice for you. I really, really do like this. Like if you, if you just want something from this collection and you already are a person who owns a lot of makeup like I am, like this is definitely the one I would probably purchase to like get a piece of the collection and then also just throw in the brushes and maybe the liners. When you get the whole set, you also get this cute little bag, which I don't need this, obviously. It's very cute. I like it. Probably gonna use it, but I don't need this. This wasn't a necessity. But yeah, overall, I would say if you were going to get like if you're even thinking about maybe getting one or two pieces of the collection, you might wanna just consider just throwing all your money at it and just getting the whole collection like together because I feel like all of this is worth $100, but I can totally understand not wanting to pay $100 for everything. So it just depends on what you like. It's definitely like high quality makeup, definitely worth the money. So this is coming from somebody who isn't like a big Rico Nasty fan and who hasn't tried Il Maquillage before and who just got this because she thought the aesthetic looked really nice and she wanted to try it. I definitely think it's worth it. I really, really like it. I just, it is a bit pricey, but it is also definitely worth that price. So it just depends on how much you wanna pay and depending on what your style is and what you're looking for. For me personally, I'm happy that I bought the whole collection, but I can understand if somebody is scared to bite the bullet and pay that much for this collection, but it is definitely worth it. So up to you to make that decision, obviously. I'm just sharing my thoughts. Overall, I'm happy with it. I'm definitely gonna keep using every single thing in this collection. I'm probably gonna get more of these. I, I'm definitely gonna get at least one more of those um, eye pencils because they gave me that coupon, which by the way, their customer service is amazing. Even they sent me that coupon saying it was late, even though I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Thank you so much. I'm going to use it, but like, dang, that was some top notch customer service there. Like just even the thought of sending a $25 coupon because your package might be late is pretty, pretty baller. But anyway, that concludes my thoughts on this collection and my review. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this look that you're getting right now. I really like it. I cannot wait to go take pictures right now. I feel so cute. I feel like the cutest little alien. Um, if you guys liked this video, be sure to subscribe. I'm really excited to make more and more high quality content for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out some of my other videos if you're interested. I also have my Instagram, which is Anarchy. My Twitter and my TikTok are It's Anarchy. <laughs> so be sure to follow me on there. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.